Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm going to teach you how to use iMovie in five minutes. If you need to import footage from a camera, you need to connect with your Firewire or USB cable, turn the camera on, and set it to VTR, VCR, or playback. These are all the same thing, it just depends on the camera. At that point, iMovie should automatically recognize it. If it doesn't, File, Import from Camera. If you need to import footage from a computer, File, Import, Movies. Find the footage that you need, select it, and you can either add to an existing event or create a new one. Events are just like files in iMovie, so you can either add to a file that already has footage in it or just create a new one. Import. To add video to your movie, click on the clip. You can either select A to select the whole thing, or move these yellow berries around to select specific footage, and then just click and drag. If you need to split the clip, find where you need to split it, right click, split clip. If you want to edit the clip or add a video effect, double click on the clip. You can change the duration, add an effect, or change the entire clip speed by converting the clip. If you want to add images to your video, first go to iMovie, Preferences, and make sure that Show Advanced Tools is checked on. Then go to Finder, find the images that you want, and just click and drag. iMovie will automatically add a Ken Burns effect. If you want to change that or edit it, Go to the gear, click on it, and go to Cropping, Ken Burns, and Rotation. At this point, you can either edit the animation, crop it, or fit. You can also add images as cutaways. Just like before, find the image in Finder, and click and drag until you see the green plus sign over the clip. Drop it, and you have all of these options. Cutaway. That will add the image as a cutaway, which will continue to play the narration from the clip underneath it while it shows the image. Add audio to your project just like you would an image. Go to Finder and click and drag. If you see the green highlighted background, that's going to add the audio as background music. If you want to add audio to a specific clip, click and drag until you see the green plus sign and drop. If you need to crop the narration in any way, go to the gear and choose Clip Trimmer. Then you can cut the audio down just to what you need. If you want to make sure the narration is your loudest priority, double click on the audio, choose Audio, and then choose the ducking feature. That will reduce the volume of all the other tracks to 15% while your audio is playing. If you want the audio of one clip to overlay the visual of another, click on the gear and choose Precision Editor. Click on this little audio wave to show the audio. You can click and drag the video to where you need it to end, and then click and drag this blue line to where you want the audio to end. If you need to add titles to your project, go over here and click on the T. Choose the title that you want, and click and drag. You can choose a theme, and then change the text. If you want to add transitions, click on the button next to the T, and then just click and drag in between the clips. If you need to save your project and come back to it later, go to File, Consolidate Media, and copy the clips. At that point, you can quit iMovie, Go to Finder, select the hard drive, Users, your username, Movies. The two files that you're going to need are iMovie Events and iMovie Projects. Copy these clips and put them on your external hard drive, a USB stick, a web server, web space, whatever you have. When you come back to work on your project later, go to Finder, Hard Drive, Users, your username, Movies and then paste those two files back into that folder. Then open iMovie, and all of your stuff will be there. If you're completely finished with your project, then you're ready to export. Go to Share, Export Movie. Name your file, choose where you'd like it to save, and then choose the medium setting for the most compatibility, Export. Once you've finished exporting, you can quit iMovie, find your movie file, press return to rename it, and change it to an MOV file rather than M4V. This will ensure that you have the most compatibility. Alright, well I hope this helped you out. Good luck on your project!